This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Heading over. I see some action around cage three. Yeah, looks like cage three is loaded in. It it's looks like eerie. cage two it's is loading. It's dark. Yeah, it's I... very dark in there. That's division there. Yeah. All right, so I, we haven't seen who the other competitor is, but I've heard that it's Fallout. Eight, seven. Ah, six, yes, there we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Way they go. Giving us the box rush of all box rushes. Fallout, a four bar lifter design going up against one of the biggest spinners oh. in the three pound division. And they just lifted right into that weapon, it looks like. Look at that. A perfect, perfect lift and pin. Oh no, and we've seen this before with Fallout. Oh, they are not able to self right, but that was a tire. Yes. Wow, it looks like even the hubs coming out of that wheel, that hit was so hard. Now that was an interesting strategy by Division. They reversed their weapon direction while they were being lifted, and that was enough to throw them and their opponent across the arena. Very smart move. Whoa! Wow, and that was another well-executed lift from Fallout. Beautiful move there. It's, it is amazing in this match. It's like you have rock, paper, and scissors all at the same time. Look at that, another one, wow! Amazing. Seth Schaefer, one of the best strategic drivers and builders that we've seen at this competition, but he is definitely getting some strategical disadvantages in these engagements right here. That was amazing work. You can see the drive side on the right of, uh, of Division's opponent here is really struggling, but it is working enough to, to stay in the game. Division running its weapon slowly to, to increase its maneuverability. The faster they spin that weapon, the harder it is for them to uh, turn around the arena, and the more likely for them to do that and throw themselves. Wow, Whoa. look at that. I think that was a window shot and a roof shot in the same exchange, Kyle. And that's kind of what you expect from Division. They get these big hits and then they launch themselves all around the arena. The first version of a Division was not able to self-right. They just didn't have the speed or the control to do so. Right. This version is an excellent self-writing machine, able to do it almost instantaneously after getting knocked over. Oh, I see. There may be some high centering going on there. Yes, I think you're right. And that right drive side, I, it, it's, it's functioning, but it is suffering right now, Kyle. Yeah, not at optimal specs at the moment. A little bit of wobble too with that that, oh, that high centering. Oh, earlier. that is a bad place to be. Division taking full advantage of that, and I believe the teeth on that four bar lifter are now oh. up. That's the underside getting chomped away at on Fallout. You can see all the signatures there Tampa. at the bottom of Fallout, and Fallout says, I'm done. Grudge matches are fun, not worth getting everything inside my box. Ripped apart by that giant weapon, we are going home. Look at that. So cute. Those So cute. You like this? Oh, look at that. A chunk What's of that? the arena has been ripped off. That is a chunk of plexiglass. Now, these, uh, these arenas are built sturdy. Yeah, but two we... layers of polycarbonate. There's kind of a sacrificial internal layer before you get into the thicker outer layer, which is what's actually there to defend uh, our our audience as well as like box side crew members. Right. So so that chunk of polycarbonate doesn't um, doesn't suggest a risk to the audience, but it does suggest how intense these robots hit. Absolutely, and yeah, internal like sacrificial layer is supposed to absorb all of that kinetic energy. So when and if Thank you to PCBWay for making this robot possible. The chassis running inside of this robot was made by PCBWay themselves with their CNC machining service. And outside the robot, it looks a little bit like this. It's milled from a four pound block of aluminum and allows the robot to have a lightweight, strong central chassis that everything bolts to, making repairs really, really easy and convenient. PCBWay also manufactured the custom PCBs that I designed that run power through the entire robot and make it possible for me to make Division this compact and fit all of the power of this terrifying robot into such tiny little packages where the battery and all the drive electronics sit on either side. So for any CNC fabrication needs that you might have, or if you need to get a custom PCB made, check out PCBWay.com. With the link in the description below, you can use a referral code and you'll get $5 off your first order.
This video is just a little teaser so that you guys get hyped up for when I can actually finish editing the full July event recap. I've got seven fights for you guys to see and it's going to be an awesome time because a lot of them were really, really high energy and incredibly intense. So you'll have that to look forward to in a couple weeks. For now though, thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you want to make sure you see that recap, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notified when those videos come out. And as always, thanks for watching.